Water is an essential ingredient to dairies all over California. However, dairies must manage their wastewater to ensure our drinking water remains safe. Today, wastewater is reused and stored until just the right time when nearby crops need it for nutrients. My name is Fred Denier, and we are at Cal Denier Dairy in Galt, California. Well, originally, uh, when we first built the facility in 1981, we had one waste storage lagoon with approximately 200 milking cows. As time went on and, and we grew through experience uh, of various winters, we realized uh, an expansion of some sort was needed in, in the wastewater storage uh, handling capacity at the facility. Fred called NRCS to work with him on developing a comprehensive nutrient management plan for his dairy. A uh, comprehensive nutrient management plan looks at uh, a waste, the waste that's being produced by a dairy facility and uh, determines the best ways to capture it and hold it and then utilize it when the crops are ready for it to be applied. The wastewater is recycled for other use as well. Okay, so you can see this tank here is a holding tank for recycled water which comes up from the lagoon. Twice a day these tanks will be filled and then will be emptied to clean the lanes that the cows are housed in. Uh, behind me is uh, what we call our solid separator. The finer, larger particles are separated off and collected to uh, actually compost the material. It gets to a state where we're actually able to use that compost either out into the fields for uh, fertilizer or back into the free stalls for bedding for the cattle. At Fred's facility, he uh, has a, a methane digester system um, and also has uh, synthetic lined lagoons. Uh, any new facilities that are being built um, are meeting new requirements that are more stringent and uh, typically have to be lined either with synthetic liner or some type of clay liner. Uh, NRCS was instrumental in, in helping us determine what type of lagoon we would put in. Along with determining the liner requirements, NRCS also consulted on the appropriate size of the lagoon. Sizing it correctly is important. You have to be able to collect what's coming off of the facility, but then also to be able to hold that which has the nutrient. Um, until the crops are actually ready to take up that nutrient. In California's coastal regions, different types of storage facilities are constructed, taking into consideration seismic activities as well as increased flooding. I think overall it has been uh, very much worth it for us and to work with NRCS. It's a win-win it's a type of situation for them. Um, protecting groundwater and also giving them the flexibility to be able to, to manage their facilities better so that they're not constantly worried about, you know, is my pond going to be big enough to hold, to hold that uh, flow that's coming down. It gives them peace of mind. NRCS can help dairies all over California in a number of ways. Well, NRCS can help in uh, planning with the comprehensive nutrient management plans. Um, we can be involved with um, technical and also financial assistance on a lot of practices. If you would like more information on a comprehensive nutrient management plan or other conservation practices, contact the district conservationist at your local NRCS office or visit our website. <music>